I have a lot of whole tips and people and women that want to get nasty in the comments. And if you notice that you really don't see that stuff because I deleted, this is a lesson in power. This is my YouTube channel. And there have been people who have expressed dismay because they were not allowed, they were not allowed to cut a fool on my YouTube channel like this is Twitter or something. And I want to drive home to you, like, you know, the, the social media policy, I used to really get into it with people, then I realized this is your channel. You can delete the comment. You don't have to engage with this yard bird because typically over the year, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years and I can really see where a comment section is going really quickly because there are people who love the channel. There are people who like AKA Greg Murray who are assholes and haters and there are people who like, well, I just don't agree. That's all they say. They don't get into personal attacks and calling people coons and stuff. Like, I just don't agree. If you will see those comments remain because that person was respectful, but there is a group of folks who are so impacted. They're, they're, they're so mean, they're so rude and they get pissy because I'll see that someone will leave two or three comments is like, because this is the thing you have to understand with the YouTube comment systems. Sometimes you can put a comment and it looks like it's disappeared, but it hasn't disappeared. It's still there. Because typically I usually review my comments in the morning. So if I put up a video of the night, I'll review the comments in the morning and I've seen like, oh, he deleted my comment. Like you had the, uh, the right to be mean the right to be nasty. And I get to the comments and typically depending upon their comments, like the one I did the last video on, this dude called me a coon and said something that wasn't true because he's jealous. Over the years, I have seen it happen because there are some borderline comments where this person's gonna flip and become a hater. And you know, if you don't agree with me, don't watch. It's just that simple. But I'll have people who will come in after video, after video, dissenting comment, and just being assholes, just being complete and other assholes. And then they feel, get mad when I delete their comment and block them. Like I said, it, this is my channel. And this is a lesson in ownership. I own this channel. I can do what I want. If I don't want certain comments on here, and then there's a part of this thing, like someone was like, well, he has some good points. The dude called me a coon. And I should block you too, because if you thought he had good points by calling me a coon, that tells me that you kind of feel the same way because your ass is broke. You don't live in a million dollar house. You don't have a BMW and Porsche in your garage. You broke. And this is one of the biggest issues I've had with men. And I had this issue at first with white men, and now I'm having this efficient issue with some black men. Um, look, I live an extraordinary lifestyle, something I worked on and I built, and I'm not ashamed of it. I used to hide it when I was living in an apartment that I would film my videos a certain way. You had no clue how well I was doing. I would hide it. I wouldn't talk about stuff. I wouldn't show my cars. And you know, I didn't get this hate. But the minute that I began to reveal just how well I was doing, oh my God, it's like I went ahead and hit a hornet's nest. And there are some people who are just pissy. Well, he's doing better than me, therefore I don't like him. Unless it is from the black people market, Omni and the Hellcat. It, people love that dude, because you know, he, he is from the streets. He used to sell drugs. They like that matriculation from doing that to being super well. It's like we all, you know, Drake's started at the bottom. Now we're here. And it, it, it's just funny because now he has his haters too, to be honest. You know, he's talked about that. But if you hate this channel, you hate the comments, the content, don't watch. 
there are like 10 million other YouTube channels. Cause some people become fixated on me. And I'm seeing it in the comments where I'm like, this comment, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like borderline. It's about to get a little crazy. And one of the things is I built this thing. Video by video, subscriber by subscriber, I built this thing. And this is one of the areas that so many people, men, I'm talking to my men folks. I know that a lot of you hate the way that the system is set up that you must be a man of means and you must be a man capable of taking care of a woman to get the best women. A lot of y'all hate that. You see it in the comments like, well, well, you know, she just did it for Chad. Well, Chad made her ovaries wet, you know? And th there's so much jealousy and he did it, so therefore I should be able to do it. They got reparations, therefore I should get reparations. And that is some illogical stuff that isn't based on anything that makes sense. But here's a lesson in ownership. I own this YouTube channel plus five more, four more. I own Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, DisruptiveMail.org, the B School for Hustlers, and the, the Self Defense School. Since I own these properties, I dictate what goes down on them. You just can't leave a comment like on my blog or something because at one point, AKA dumbass numbnuts Greg Murray was trying to talk to me on Facebook. And I'm just sitting there like, these people who have mean and unkind and dissenting things to say, they feel that they should be able to sell it. Cause I've had like, there was this one chick who has been banned from the island she said, because I told the truth, black men are currently marrying black women. And from a statistical standpoint, most black men are married to black women. Yet we still have all these problems, hence the video, marrying black women are not gonna fix the problems. And this chick got so much in her feelings, she's like, well, you know, I see some mommy issues and stuff. And then when I roll back at her, she got aggressive and she got guttural and she got ghetto. And like, once again, you, you think that you're gonna be able to talk to me and that's gonna reflect in the comments, I'm just leave that shit up. It's gone and you're banned. You, you don't get to comment because here's another issue. If you feel that you're just as smart as I am, where are your receipts? Serious question, where are your receipts? Because it's one thing to think you're smart, it's another thing to be proven that you're smart. I was just doing my income statements and stuff and I was like kind of shocked at the money I've made and the year is halfway over. So I'm getting ready to move into the second phase. Uh, we're creating new products and coming up with some different ideologies and a big shift of the content to Savage Finance because I mean, Savage Finance is growing by 30 to 100, you know, depending upon the day, 30 to 100 subscribers a day. It's growing, it's wide open, YouTube's recommending the videos. I've had four videos pop, which doesn't happen over here. I don't care what I do, it just doesn't happen over here. So I'm getting ready to move a lot of the, like all of, like, the people are like, well, th this is a business channel. Not really, this is a, economic commentary channel and the social issues channel because like I put up a video the other day it was more about economically didn't get that many views I think it's like at 1400 views well I could come up and talk about the stimulus package or some other stuff and I'll get five or six thousand views and I've got videos at Savage Finance which only has almost 9,000 subscribers I've got Velocity Banking, that's at 25, 20,000 views. Uh, the Oxygen, that's at 25,000 views. I got One Stop Freaking Out About Your Credit Score, that's at 14,000 views. Videos just take off when I hit the right content strategy over there. So I'm getting ready to, I'll still post videos here. I'll still do that. But most of my time and effort and energy is going into Savage Finance because Savage Finance, is probably gonna get more views this month 
with a subscriber base of about nine, I might get to 10,000 subscribers this month on Savage Finance. With a 10,000 10, person subscriber base, and I got almost 100,000 over here and videos just kinda go. At one point they were growing, but you know, once again, I started to de-emphasize this. And I'm gonna put most of my time, effort, and energy over at Savage Finance because it's a lot of fun and I get to challenge all these sacred cows. And this, this is a lesson in power. You get to do what you want in life. You know, because the, like the, the whole tip dude, I'm gonna be honest, he pissed me off. This whole, you were allowed. So the white man allowed me to go to the storage auction business. The white man allowed me to learn how to do credit. This whole allow stuff is so disgusting and so distasteful because I worked really, really hard to build my business. Now, this is a storage auction business. I work routinely six to seven days a week, 16 hours a day. I work really hard. So there was none of this, oh, the white man allowed him. That is one of the, that's why I hate you hotel motherfuckers. You are so not, not hard headed. You are so just bitchy and feminine. That's why I just hate you. Cause I'm just sitting there allow. And well, you know, they, they allow you to get money if you don't help your people. How many times have I talked about giving away courses? Most of the viewership of this channel is black. I've given out courses for years. I am helping black people. Consistently, I am helping black people. And in the future, I will help more black people. So this whole notion that because one of the reasons I hate the Hotep Nation is they are so, they have a fixed mindset. There's a fixed mindset and there's a flexible mindset. And I, I'm like, unless you take a hammer and literally hit them over the head and shake up their brains, I don't care if Jesus Christ came down and said, my son, what you're thinking is wrong. No, 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 Jesus, mm -mm, no, no, I'm right. And this is one of the things that we have in our society because the person who was like, he had some good points. Actually, he had nothing but hate. And I'm probably gonna go back and block your comment because more than likely you're a hater too if you feel that someone calling me a coon is saying that's a good point. This is one of the things, cause you know, I'm in the, you know, I'm really glad that Savage Finance is starting to take off and I can devote more time over there. Like I said, I'll still do videos here, but by December, my goal is to be doing one or two videos a week here. And that's, that's it. And then do most of my time on Savage Finance and my other YouTube channels and get them going because it's been 10 years, it, it's been 11 years. And I will do enough to keep the channel going, but my heart, and emphasis is not going to be here. It's going to be a savage finance because um, I'm just looking like I activated an old channel. The one I hadn't posted on, this is with the mindset coach. I, I'm going to be doing a lot over there, a lot over there. So be sure to subscribe. And literally I just posted three videos and I started getting subscribers. I don't know what YouTube, well, actually I do know what the problem with this channel is. There's just too many topics. Uh, when I stopped doing the storage auction stuff, I should have created a new channel. And I'm paying for that now because, you know, you got people who look at YouTube and compare YouTubers. Cause like I knew early on that the stimulus check thing was gonna be big and I struggled with it. But from a philosophical standpoint, I did not see the point in regurgitating junk and talking about it because right now you still got people who are doing these stimulus check videos and their channels are growing. And I didn't understand how broke people were. I knew from an intellectual level that, you know, 75% of the country could not raise $2,000 cash within 30 days. I knew that, but I did not conceptualize that in the manner for these stimulus checks because there are people right now who are desperately waiting for that 1200 bucks desperately waiting for it. And there are people who are desperately in a situation where they need this economic abuse. And it's gonna be interesting to, to see what happens to the economy in the next three months after. Cause I told you, 
The $600 is done, it, it's gone, it ain't coming back. They're not doing that. Unless the Democrats win in November and then you can possibly see something like similar to basic income, universal basic income coming out. But one of the things is to be powerful, to have options, you gotta build some stuff. And I know people with the Forex and the day trading and the MLs and all this other stuff, they're, they're trying to avoid having the burden of working. They're, they're trying to avoid it. And it is the fastest way to get paper in your pocket. It's the fastest way. And people just don't want to do it because people are lazy. And also in my video where Americans ready for socialism, I saw, because there's a lot of people who, who are talking about, you know, Biden is not going to win. And, you know, Trump's going to, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but we'll see in November. Because if Biden gets in, him and Kamala, Kamala, whatever her name is, it will be record setting and it'd be very interesting. And the Democrats will go ham. They will start doing all the things that they wanted to do that they couldn't do because the Republicans were putting up stiff opposition. But, you know, to be powerful, to make money, to, to do the things that you want to do, you got to build something. And this is why I hate these hotel people because they want to direct people into this limited mindset way of thinking because I have met amazing white people, I've met amazing Asian people, I've met amazing Hispanics because I'm open to that experience. And there's a lot of black folks who just not open, just facts. And you know, and it's like, oh, I ain't gonna do that. I'm, I wanna stay around my people. And you're, you're living a limited life because you're scared. You're really, really scared. And that's sad because here at Hustlers Kung Fu, I'm going to enlighten you, educate you, and I'm going to push and prod you to be better because, you know, the video, like the common man, the common man is getting fucked. Be straight up. The common man is going to be messed over. The common man is going to have issues. And I, I want you to be exceptional. I want you to grow and I want you to build something and I want you to push yourself to grow and get away from this stuff because when I'm doing, you know, cause there, there's a group of you who vehemently disagree about these racial topics, but you ain't doing nothing to educate or help black folks. You're just sitting there with an opinion. That's it. You're not in the fight. You're not creating courses. You're not helping people. You're not training. You ain't doing nothing. You're just sitting there like, I disagree because I'm black man. I'm a black man. I'm a black man. I can disagree and I'm going to disagree. I'm going to be difficult because I want to be difficult. I'm not going to seek understanding or greater level of uh, belief. I'm just not. So one of the things that you should understand about me because, you know, there was some people talking about I'm a black capitalist and the black capitalists and the progressive have different points of view. Understand, nothing gets done without money. Nothing. That's why, you know, quote, the elites run the country because they have the money. They have the money. Nothing gets done without money. Nothing. It doesn't happen. The money is the lever. And one of the things that I hate about the whole tips is there is not a primary primary directive about getting money it's all about this earthy touchy feeling there's this um youtube channel come across uh, the best of africa or something and you know uh, seeing dance culture is interesting and it's part of african history but i would like to see the best part of africa i would like to see nigerian scientists i would like to see um capitalists because the dancing, they ain't putting no money in nobody's pocket. They ain't changing nobody's life. You all right, you dance. You, you happy. Okay, big whoop. Let's talk about making some money. That's what I would like to see. And this is typically what I see from a lot of African stuff. There are some African news outlets that push back and they show the educated to intellectual side of Africa, but that's not the norm. Most of it is about dancing or, you know, some foolishness. So this is a lesson in power.
because I'm getting ready to open up some serious holding company game on Savage Finance. Uh, these videos, my editors are working on them right now and one I did today, so my editor will start working on that tomorrow. And I'm telling you, that's the ticket because when I got to Savage Finance and I started looking at all of these other personal finance channels, I saw that they were just giving pretty much, in my opinion, garbage advice. Like, all right, how do you cut down on your taxes? Contribute to your 401k. So you contribute to your 401k through the contribution of 401k, you have less money and you save two to 3,000 bucks a year on your taxes. Huh, so you're saving 200 to 300 bucks per month off of your taxes. For some people that could be significant depending on where you're on the income scale. But to me, I'm about big, bold pushes in life. That's what I've experienced when I had my job and I start, I made like $200,000 with, and I had a job and I made 200K on the side. I had a job and I made two. That money was life changing. That was like crazy. I had a brand new BMW, had $200,000 in the bank. You couldn't tell me I wasn't rich. You could not tell me I wasn't rich. My confidence level, I would go out in public, my chest was all swollen up, I'm like, hey, hey, how you doing? I'm Glenn Gamer. I was just so confident because I was making money and I was living well and I was making more money. And that was my experience. And that's what I want for you guys. I don't want you guys to be doing this basic, you know, oh, put money in your 401k and save an extra $3,000 a year. I want you to make an extra $50,000 a year. I want you to make an extra $100,000 a year. None of this chump chain stuff. And that's why it's called Savage Finance because it's a bold directive to increasing your finances. This is why the do more principle is such a critical part of Savage Finance because most personal finance is, all right, we're gonna give you some advice or some, some hacks you can do while you don't do that much more, while somehow we give you a hack where you can get more benefits while actually doing nothing. And one of the things that Savage Finance is, a primary directive is to push you to do more because that's what I did and I saw the benefit. You understand when you have $200,000 in the bank, the bank teller knows your name. It, it, it's totally different. I remember, because I used to bank in Wachovia and I, would, I made some deposit of some cash. And this chick, well, hey, how you doing, Mr. Cameron? saw you she remembered me i was memorable to the banking staff all of the banking staff knew me i was like hey mr Cameron, how you doing today they knew who i was I did, we never had no formal introduction but they saw whoa he's putting money in his account because i had that two hundred thousand in there and then i was putting in big checks from my job and they were like kissing my booty i mean they were just same thing right now um I'll be talking about, you know, banking strategies and stuff that you can do. And I'm just sitting here like, why is this hard? And I begin to understand that you don't really see that many people who look like me talking about stuff like this. That's the big journey. I am the trailblazer. I, I'll be the first one. I'll have to take the arrows and the gunshots and stuff because I'm riding point. Fine. I'll ride point. And I will continue to ride point because the information that I give you will not harm you. I'm not trying to sell you some Bitcoin or some scam or some schemes. It is rooted in math and practical financial applications. So if you follow this advice in a year or two, your life is going to be much, much better than it is now financially. It just is. And I get so much pushback because people want to be lazy. They just want to hang out with Big Booty Betty, Sexy Slim Susan, Curvaceous Claudia, and just, you know, chill and watch TV, smoke blunts, and really do nothing with their life. And that's not the program that I am talking about. I am talking about being a contributor. I have an old video talking about producers and creators. And it ain't changed because once you become a producer and a creator and the person that 
create services and products, you become an indispensable part of society, you get exposed to more people, you make more money, you, you make so much more money. And that's what I want you guys, like I said, I don't want you making an extra two or three thousand dollars a year. That's chump change. That used, I mean, I used to walk around with five to ten, five to fifteen thousand dollars cash in my pockets every day. Now, two to three, that's just chump change. I want to see you make twenty-five, fifty, a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand dollars extra per year. That's that's like that money changes you. It changes your life. It changes the lives of your children. It changes everything, man. So this is why we're going to, you know, because I'm about, I have so many plans for Savage Finance, so many plans and so some stuff that I'm getting ready to implement. I'm getting ready to hire an assistant to help me with the channel with some promotional opportunities. I'm probably going to hold contests. There, there's so many things that I'm getting ready to do. And I'm pretty much getting to ready to do a revamp of Hustlers Kung Fu. I'm going to do a revamp at the financial self defense school.com. And that's where the revamp is going to be. And you know, if you bought some old products, I will give you discounts and stuff for that. But I'm getting ready to start having classes, uh, webinars, a lot, a lot of stuff that's getting ready to go down because entrepreneurship is where it is. That's the goal, baby. That's the goal. None of this hotep stuff, none of this topical circular argument stuff I'm talking about. And th this whole thing with, you know, who you date and who you're having sex with. It, it's, it's kind of funny because all my life I've, I've heard from brothers about quote white girls, them white girls. One of my friends named me the white girl whisperer. And really Brandon Tatum actually put out a very good video about it because it's about culture and comfort. He really did. It's like um, Brandon Tatum, the officer, why black men date white women. And it wasn't about, it, it was like pretty spot on. Cause you know, I don't really sit here and denigrate black women. I don't constantly put black women down. I don't do that. But what I have found out for me from a cultural standpoint, that just works. It's easier, it's more fun. And I don't have to be the alpha black dude to get with this black chick, which is crazy. But that's all I got for you. But you know, go over to Savage Finance. We're getting ready to do a lot of fun stuff over there. And once again, remember, all these channels are my channel. It's my point of view, it's my opinion. You don't like it, go somewhere else. Have a good day. Because I'm not gonna argue with you in the comments back and forth, because if you were smart as I am, you would have the results that I have. Therefore, if you don't have the results I have, you're not as smart as I am. As much as you want to think you are, as much as you want to be cute, as much as you want to slow down a little slick comment. And also I'm getting rid of the slick comments and stuff. Oh yeah, about the music. How many of you have watched movies like Alien, Predator? They got music in it. You don't complain? Stop complaining about the music and work on focusing and get yourself some better, um, better phone if you're listening on your phone because it ain't loud because the editors appropriately adjust the sound and it's perfectly fine and one of the things that i'm finding with the savage finance crowd is i don't get those comments over there i really don't get those comments and also as a creator it is my prerogative and my choice to do what i want with my videos and once again if you don't like the videos don't watch go somewhere else that's all i gotta say so go below, get 30 days, 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. And let's go ahead and build some businesses and some organizations and some companies and start making more money. Let's do that. Because this, this, this talking about who, what someone's dating and all this other hotep stuff is kind of boring at this juncture, pretty much.